On the 9th of June, Manny Pacquiao, who is arguably the best or second best boxer in the world, will fight um, Timothy Bradley for Pacquiao's WBO welterweight title. I don't consider Pacquiao to be the best boxer in the world. I think Floyd Mayweather is. I also think Andre Ward and Juan Manuel Marquez are better than Pacquiao too, so I've actually got Pacquiao down at number four. So apologies for that, but I don't think that's too controversial of an opinion. Um, and one of my reasons for saying that is because Pacquiao is just not as good as he was. Um, you know, going back sort of ten to five to ten years. Pacquiao's now 33 years old. He's fighting at 144 pounds because we all know he never makes 147 pounds. He'll only ever fight 144 and he'll expect you to too as well. Um, I mean, his last few wins in recent years, I mean, if we just go through a whole list of his wins for the last sort of, you know, five years or so, I mean, after the Morales um, loss in 2005, which was his last loss, he beat Hector Velasquez in, you know, pretty good comeback fight. Then he beat Morales in uh, by in the 10th round stoppage, which was a good win, you know. Uh, then he beat, although Morales wasn't he coming off of a loss against um, Zaire Rahim. Um, so, you know, we could say it was a... Um, slightly past his best Morales, but let's be honest, Morales, he's come back in the recent years and he's looked fairly decent, so I think that, that was a good win for uh, Pacquiao. He then beat Oscar Larios at Super Featherweight, although Larios was coming up from Super Bantamweight, and then beat Morales again in the rubber match. He then beat Jorge Solis, who was undefeated at the time, Barrera for a second time, although Barrera in 2007 was finished. And then beat Juan Manuel Marquez in a fight that most people think Marquez won. Then he beat David Diaz in a quite a brutal um, display. Although, let's face it, at lightweight, David Diaz was not the best lightweight at the time. I mean, there was Michael Katsidis, Juan Diaz, Joao Casamayor, you know, much better fighters at the time. Uh, then he beat Rack Rock Ricky Hatton, which was a good win because Ricky Hatton was the number one fighter at 140 pounds. Then beat Miguel Cotto at 144 pounds. That was good. The only criticism of that win was the fact that um, you know Cotto was finished at welterweight. That was his last fight at welterweight. I think the fight should have been made at at least 150 pounds. But I mean, it was made at 147 pounds. Uh, you know, although like I said, you know. Pacquiao doesn't fight people at 147, he gets them to come down a bit. He then beat um, Clotty, um, which was a good win because Clotty um, was a contender at the time. Whether, whether he put up a fight or not is irrelevant. Pacquiao was beating him up, that's why he didn't put up a fight. Margarita was a rubbish fight, uh, shouldn't have even been in the ring with Pacquiao. And I didn't believe for a second that Margarita had a chance of winning. Uh, he was just a punch bag. Um, Shane Mosley, that was an awful fight because he's long finished. And then Marquez in the next fight, he lost to. Um, whether people want to believe that or not, he did. Uh, Marquez won that fight. So, Pacquiao's just finished. I mean, he's 33 years old. He's not finished, but he's just not as good as he was. And his prime is at super bantamweight. His prime is at um, featherweight and at super featherweight. And his prime could have been as far up as uh, lightweight or even light welter if um, he'd got there a bit sooner or if he'd um, actually stayed there for longer. But although he's been quite impressive at world weight, I mean, I'm not going to say he's handpicked his opponents because he hasn't. But I mean, Marquez beat him, Shane Mosley was finished, Margarito shouldn't even be in a ring, Clotty was tailor-made for him because he was never going to put up a fight. Cotto, you know, I mean, he shouldn't have even been fighting at £147, really. But I do think that was a good win. And Hatton, I mean, I wouldn't say he was finished, but Pacquiao finished him. Uh, and Oscar De La Hoya, I mean, he, he shouldn't have been fighting at world weight either. But all of the fights from sort of David Diaz down were a lot better, and that's what I mean. I mean, from lightweight down, Pacquiao was a great fighter, but he's just not good anymore. He's 33. He'll lose to Floyd Mayweather Jr. in one of the easiest 
one-sided fights in history if they actually fight. And, you know, I'm not a massive Floyd Mayweather fan, but that's just what's going to happen. I mean, Mayweather fought Juan Manuel Marquez at welterweight and totally outclassed him. Marquez fought Pacquiao at welterweight, totally outclassed Pacquiao. You know, how the judges gave it to Pacquiao, I don't know, but I think Bob Aaron's probably got something to do with that. And, um, uh, and, uh, that's, you know, that's the way you look at it. Marquez beat Pacquiao, Mayweather beat, uh, Marquez, and both at the same way, and you just got to think, with Mayweather's style being even better than Marquez's, you got to think, Mayweather wipes the floor with Pacquiao, you know, unfortunately for those who don't like to hear the truth. Timothy Bradley, I think might win this fight, and the reason I say I think he might win this, he's young, he's hungry, he's the best fighter at light welterweight. I used to think Amir Khan was, and before that I used to think Tim, um, Alexander Bradley was, uh, Alex, um, Devin Alexander, sorry, Devin Alexander was. Um, but now I think Brad is. I mean, he's undefeated still, and I mean, he's beaten a good level of opponents. I mean, Cassidy and yours finished, that wasn't a very good win, but Alexander, good win. Abregu, good win. Peterson, great win. Campbell, that was non no contest. Holt, good win. Uh, Junior Witter, good win. Vasquez, good win. He's just had loads of good wins, and like I said, although Amir Khan has had loads of good wins as well, because he's lost on two occasions, although the pizza fight was, you know, very controversial because of the point deductions. I think you've got to give it to Bradley. He's the best fighter at 140. And Pacquiao is, you know, at best, the second best fighter at world weight. I think Bradley might win. I think he might outbox um, Pacquiao. I can't see him stopping him, so it would have to be on points. And that is why I'm going for Pacquiao to win on points, because I don't think anyone's allowed to beat Pacquiao on points. Marquez beat him on points on two occasions, and he didn't get it. And therefore, I'm not going to be a conspiracy theorist, but Pacquiao just can't lose on points. And even if Marquez was to fight him another five times uh, uh, um, and beat him five times, he wouldn't get the victory. Even if Marquez knocked out Pacquiao, he still wouldn't get the win. They'd, they'd disqualify him for some reason. They'd say he was wearing the wrong gloves or something. Um, so... I can't see Bradley getting the points win, but I can see it being a split decision or a majority decision. I can see Bradley being a bit upset with it. Um, and so yeah, it's for Pacquiao's WBO title, so it's a you know it's a proper world title fight. And yeah, I think Pacquiao wins a slightly controversial points win, where Bradley makes him look average. And I think people are going to start you know seeing that Pacquiao is coming to the end and I think we might even see him retire before you know the Mayweather fight which I don't even want to see anymore because it bores the shit out of me that fight so yeah uh, that's my prediction for that fight alright thanks for watching